What's up gamers and welcome to my new video, this is Zox. So in today's video I will be showing you best setups for Hawk. That's only my opinion, I will uh, also speak about these setups for which mode do I recommend these setups. So this will be something like these three setups in here. I'll be speaking about every single one of them. So let's start with Cryo Gla Ryan Glacier. Hawk. This Hawk is the build that I used for close range battle, also I use it uh, in free for all gameplay and I use it as an uh, Arthur killer. Because of the configuration of the weapons, if you are using Rhyme Glacier you will be a brawler because of the range of weapons guys and uh, recommended modes for this are Beacon Rush and free for all guys. Uh, I see some people using it in TDM, Team Deathmatch, but it's not that good to be honest and also in Domination I'm not that sure that it's uh, the perfect one for Domination, but it can be good, but I mean there are some more better setups to say and this is uh, purely brawling and I think that it's most common in Beacon Rush and Free For All Also, I recommend you equipping it with uh, uh, Adrian Chong because uh, of the additional damage and then uh, when you do that uh, equip it with Thermonook and Anti-Control uh, or because many of you I know that you have Adrian Chong so it's easier for you or you can of course uh, use this pilot Kyle Rogers on it but uh, actually I'm using uh, Adrian Chong on it because um, there is one thing you will say that uh, Hawk pilot is better than Anti-Control it is but that Hawk pilot is only active when you are flying guys but with this setup you will want to brawl uh, because you will be landing next to enemies you need to brawl and you don't want to be suppressed so in that case the best uh, thing is to use anti-control Thermonook, Last Stand and uh, Adrian Chong also I will show you my, set, my skills I'm using Destroyer Hawk, Road Hawk, Mechanic, Dodger Armor Expert, Master Gunsmith and Full Hardy uh, skill. Because I want to make it, uh, I want to have max damage from these cryos on it. The next setup I will be speaking about is uh, this setup, Vault Gauss one. Yes, I'm hearing this one as well. This is a Sniper Hawk. So in here I'm using Kyle Rogers, but in fact my recommendation for you would be to use also Adrian Chong. Because this setup is always, uh, you will always try to be with this setup uh, 600 meters to 800 meters away from your enemies uh, in that precise range of weapons. Because on 600 meters they will not be able to suppress you with any weapon. Uh, and also if you are stay out of 500 meters, no nightingales, uh, no other weapons like walkers, nucleons, uh, shredders will not be able to freeze you uh, thanks to drones uh, which are having these uh, if people are using drones and those chips so my recommended game style is to be 6 to 800 meters to use your flight only when you are in danger guys and I would use on it uh, two thermonooks and last stand if you are having Kyle Rogers if you are not having Kyle Rogers, then uh, maybe, I don't know. With also with Adrian Chong use, use Thermonooks. Uh, I, I don't recommend in general for these setups, I don't recommend overdrives. Overdrives are good on, uh, for example, this Hawk, guys. Because you are fighting close range to a uh, battle. And you will be, in many cases, you will have to come close to your enemies because of the range of these weapons. So then use overdrives and you can also use overdrives on this one. But for this one I would recommend pure Thermonux guys. I'm using following pilot skills with it. Uh, it's uh, of course Kyle's Gizmo, okay. Uh, Roadhawk, Destroyer, Module Expert, Dodger Hawk, Armor Expert, Mechanic and Full Hardy. And the uh, King setup. <laughs> To say so, it's a good for close range, long range. This is in this moment the best setup that there is for Hawk. Nucleon Quoker, we all know that they are really, really powerful weapons. And I'm using it with Kyle Rogers. Uh, he is um, good, uh, his pilot skills are here. It's more of the, the same pilot skills that I use on all the robots. 
and I'm using two thermal hooks on it and last end. Yeah, I want maximum of these weapons. Uh, I'm also regarding the drones, I will show you which drones I'm using with it as well. So you can maybe try think about uh, setting up those, the same for you. In here uh, also I recommend this robot for every mode to be honest. This this bot works in all modes but for me it backs in Beacon Rush and Free For All. In TDM it's also very very reliable robot. So this is a basically all around setup guys. Um, this is the probably most expensive setup to make but it's the best setup. This setup, as I said, this setup I would use only, for example, in uh, TDM or maybe end domination. That's that's the modes that where you can use this setup. Very good and reliable for those uh, modes. And as we said already, for this setup I would use it in free for all, beacon rush, and maybe in some cases in domination, but not so sure. So guys, now I will be boosting up and uh, jumping into few matches. We will jump in some matches and uh, to show these setups and gameplay with it and also the also the efficiency of these setups to be honest. So let's uh, jump into match, let's fully boost and let's do these 30 minutes. Let's start with team deathmatch where I'll be showing that long range setup and medium range. Later on we will jump into some Beacon Rush match and uh, we will jump also into free for all match. So you can see what I'm uh, saying about these setups and about their efficiency in different uh, modes. Every time when you are building your robot please think about modes that you like to run and then make your robots according to that because if you see some setup and you think it's a good setup maybe it will not be good for your uh, for your recommended mode okay 42 seconds come on what's going on what's going on how am i not getting the match it's crazy I usually get the match by by this time Come on, yep, okay. Oh my gosh, this map for this setup, huh? I'm not sure, we'll see. Okay, let's try, let's try. I will maybe go this way. Yep, I will <laughs> try to fly here and to shoot enemies from here. Let's see how <laughs> will this be interesting. Oh no, they are too far far but this is basically on this map it's uh, it's not that good for TDM this map is not good for TDM guys it's really good if you are running scorpion first way or any way but if you are running this setup it's really really not good place to set to test it let's try to shoot those guys there okay there are, that's that's what I'm saying to you uh, try to be from 600 to 800 meters because a lot of people using C pulsars there. I will use my face shift to run away from him. And I will be waiting for him to make a mistake. To move behind the cover. What he will do right now. And he did it. He realized he made a mistake. Okay, let's see now he will go after me again but yep and last ended bye bye almost dead now oh my god he ran away he ran away lucky man lucky okay. oh my god is that Natasha in here we have Rovana Okay, now I had to do this, I had to fly. Uh, that guy is surviving, not for long. So basically this is, I think, king setup for TDM, <laughs> definitely. Okay, I will try to move here to the left side so I can shoot that guy there. He's just standing, oh my god, in that precise moment. Okay, 
You see, it's a Hellburner approaching to me. He's using his shield. He's moving his shield towards me. And now I'm shooting at him, but also my buddy is shooting at him, I think. And I killed him. Nice double kill with this setup on this brawling map. It, there is a lot of cover on this map, guys. So that's why I'm saying this setup is not the best one for this for this map. Definitely not the best one. And here we we see Ravanas who are trying to reach me, who are trying to come to me. Okay, in here, in here we are having on the right side. We are having out June. Out June, I managed to shoot at him when he was uh, landing and let's see we are having this guy here now I will uh, go upstairs go into flight let me see this place okay my friends are killing the Trovana downstairs and we are having another hawk see I'll be defending myself this way he will not be able to shoot at me Okay, he's having... what is he running on his hawk? He's running Avenger and Shredder. That's in fact not bad build, really. That's... Uh, if, if you want budget build, try that one. It's not that bad, really. Shredders are really good on the hawk. So, we are managing to survive for 5 minutes in this robot. Yes, I'm camping. No, I'm not getting the, the best damage for sure. I'm sure if I continue this, I will not get best damage. But it's fun to use. It's not always about damage. Okay, we need to kill this guy. He's trying to kill our buddy. I will last end him. And I will attack that Aoming there. See that guy? Okay, I killed that guy there. Let's see what's approaching. It's Ravana. Oh, I managed to <laughs> catch him between his transcendences. Oh. Okay, let's see what's going on. That Ming is really hiding there. Hiding back there. And we have one uh, long range Ming on He's really far away from us. Okay, he's there trying to kill my buddies. Okay, I'm, I'm, you see what I'm doing. I'm luring him to come here. Because if he comes, <laughs> I will immediately go into flight and attack him. See, he made a mistake. He almost uh, came to me. I want him to come within 500 meters. So I can go attack him and go back into the safety. I'm not, I'm not, I will not be able to come into safety probably. But I can shoot him <laughs> at 700 meters, so it's his problem. You see? Oh my god, I'm really hurting him. He's trying to come closer to me. He's really trying. I'm just standing here and shooting at him. And he's healing, he's healing back, okay, of course. Let me see, come on, recharge. Oh yeah, nice chunk. Nice chunk of HP, baby, nice chunk of HP. Ho oh, ho! That was a really good one, really good one. Let's... Oh my god, that guy went into face shift in that precise moment. Okay, that wing is really <laughs> doing his best to run away from me. You see him, he's at 700 meters. He is running away even further. And he can't do anything about me. So this setup is great against Mings, guys. You were annoyed by Mings? Okay, now you be annoying for the Mings. <laughs> You'll be the one annoying for the Mings. Imagine this one on Bohemoth, guys. Imagine this one on Bohemoth. 
That guy really hates my set. And I'm healing. I am suppressing him and freezing him with these chips. So let's see. No, 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 no. no. Okay. Titan Slayer, baby. Titan Slayer. Now he will go into some fast robots to kill me. I'm sure he will go for me so bad. He wants to kill me bad. Oh my god. Nice. Nice shot for that dude. Oh, we have one more Ming. Let's go, Ming Killers! Ming Killers, baby! Yes! It was such a good shot, really! Oh, more Minks! More Minks, baby! More Minks! Oh, ho, ho, ho. what more great shot! Let's try to support our buddy there. Yep! So let's 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 Oh nice nice shot again nice shot again Let's see let's see what's going on there let's see what's going on there We are having some flying robot there It's our kin Sorry buddy, I have to kill you, I cannot let you fly around. Ho ho ho! Nice! Nice damage baby, nice damage! Titan Slayer! <laughs> yes! Okay, so let's see what's coming there behind the corner. Oh my god. That dude was hit so hard, it's crazy. Okay, we have 12 seconds, let's go, let's suicide now. Let's get one more kill, three seconds, two seconds, one second. Yep, the whole match, guys, with this crazy setup. And let's see my damage. Let's see my damage in this match. I was first in my team with 3.2 million guys and 7 takedowns. So this setup is crazy, baby. Crazy. <laughs> crazy TDM setup. Crazy, guys. I strongly recommend this one for TDM, like I said. Let's now, guys, jump into the... I think we will go into Beacon Rush to show this bad boy. I'll be showing this bad boy there. Yep. Let's go. Give me match, Pixel. Give me match. I wanna kill some reds. And I wanna show to these guys the setups that I like. That are the best ones for Hawk. Let's go. Let's try to be in this setup as long as we can. I think it will not be that easy. Okay, we are having Garys there, but we are having this guy on the right side. This setup, it's crazy, crazy baby, crazy. Okay, let's support our buddy there. 
From left side we see that Ravana approaching. Let's see who's there. This is Bulwark. Oh, he is resisting really good because of his physical shield. Triple kill. Rampage. Scorpion. Oh, there is a little scorpion as well. He can be a problem for us. He'll be a real problem for us, guys. Godlike. Let's be a living legend, guys. Let's be a living legend. Okay, he's shooting at me. In fact, he's harming himself, so. Beyond Godlike. Let's do one more. Let's be a living legend. I want to be a legend. Yep, 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 yep. Give me that living legend. Give me that living legend. Oh, yeah, baby. We are living legends. Oh, yes. So, but we are having one dude which is who's really smart. He's going for our back home beacon. I have to prevent him from that. I'll be landing here so I can support the center. Oh ho ho, I landed here, but there is somebody behind me. Now I have to support my buddy there because he will be killed by that Mercury for sure. Yep, if I haven't intervened, he would have been dead. So actually I'm doing this. Now I will be flying. He will not be able to kill me. Double kill. Let's go, let's see. My team is really good one to be honest here. Okay, this guy is having low key. But he will not be able to kill me.
which will be free for all with this setup. Like I said. Let's go free for all. Come to me. Okay, let's jump into match. Come on. Big so give me that free for all match. Come on. I want to kill some reds. I want to kill some reds. Oh, nice. Yes. Yes. Let's go with this hook. This hook isn't even maxed, as you can see, guys. And I'm not sure which. Uh, I think I'm not using suppression module on this like we see there is a lot of Ravanas here guys people are saying Ravana is a uh, total crap no it's not it's really good for some modes but it's no longer good for beacon rush okay now we are having a another enemy who's also with Hawk and he's going for us Okay, I will be... Yep, dead. So we already have two takedowns. Maybe even third one, but this... This guy is really tough. Okay, we have triple kill. And we have a little blitz, he will kill us. Yep, he killed us. Let's again respawn this bot. Let's start it with the other drone. Let's use this drone. This is suppression and lockdown. No, it's a, sorry, it's a suppression and um, freeze. So I will have double freeze on this. No, 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 don't shoot that guy because he is transcending. Let's kill this leech. Oh, no, 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 oh my god, I helped this guy to get the kill. Oh my god, I lost two kills. It's crazy. So this scorpion is teleporting behind me. You saw, I saw him on time. And now I suppressed him. And he knows I suppressed him. Now I'm going into flight. He will teleport back and I will target the place where he was. So it's basically okay again scorpion yeah he will teleport right behind me I'm waiting for him to make a move I'm having my phase shift ready so when he teleports behind me I will be phase shifting you will see now he will yes he teleports behind me I phase shift I suppress him and I kill him this is the strategy. If you know that some guy is running Scorpion against you, you just need to be patient. You need to have your face shift ready. See, again, new Scorpion, but it's with the new pilot. And I saw where he teleported from, so I'm going that way. And basically, if you are skilled with some of the meta robots, you will never die in it. People say that, yeah, but you also need to have skill to run any robot, really. Scorpion robot is really hard to, to play. But I saw some guys who are running it amazing. They are running it, they are like unkillable, really, in it. This guy here, he's overexposing with his Scorpion. He needs to play a little bit more conservative with this robot. See, he's here, he will be, yeah, that guy will kill him. That guy will get the kill. Okay, beyond godlike. Can we get the living legend? Yep, living legend with this setup as well. So what's there? There is Zouchun. 
Oh, Chun Yep, he decided to go the other way. I suggest that the same, buddy. Don't go after me. Get the kills there. Okay, now I'm going after this Auchun. He will be landing here and he will be vulnerable. Yep. So now I have 11 takedowns. I only responded to respond once. So now we are having one guy who is going after us. So I'll be shooting in front of his robot. So when he moves, he will get into my rockets. Okay, now he made a huge mistake. He used all his abilities to get to me. That's the worst thing he could have done. He should have come patiently and then use his abilities to fight me. You see, like this guy is doing precisely what he should. He's shooting at me. Yeah, this guy will uh, last end me. They are surrounding me, so they will probably kill me here if I don't get my flight. I managed to get my flight, taking down this guy. And maybe even I will take down this guy as well. It will be hard. It will be really, really... But I managed somehow. Nice, so we are facing now what? Let's see. Auchun, Calamity, I see it. Calamity Auchun, and on the left side, we are having Leech. Okay, little Leech. And they are all waiting for my move, so. Basically, he's shooting me behind the corner, buddy. I don't have to come there. I will not come there, because if I come there, you will say I'm a noob. And that guy was well is waiting for me to arrive. Why are they both waiting for me and I'm the one who's the first? I don't know. He's trying to make me use my ability. Buddy, I'm not I'm not stupid to use my ability. Okay, that guy was brave. Nice, I like that about you, buddy. I'm sorry that I have to kill you. I'm really sorry. So let's now see this guy on the left side. Ah, he will be camping there. He will be staying there and waiting for me to camp. No, oh, he's actually coming. Oh, nice. Nice, buddy, nice. I can corner shoot as well, buddy. Oh, oh, oh nice move. Nice move. Somebody was with the scorpion back there. <laughs> nice! Buddy, I have to say, nice, really nice move. Too bad I'll have to kill you. I'm sorry, but I got to. This is a fight. So let's see what's going on with this leech. So this leech has no intention coming closer to me. So I will go to him. Now he will be backing off and then if he kills me, he will say I'm a worst player in the planet and he's the best. But actually I'm going for him. Maybe I would have given you a kill, but if you weren't doing that way. Let me see. So, let's get that guy. Enemy number one, which is currently second, he's, uh, he seems like a really decent player, to be honest. And the true brawler. I saw him brawling, I saw him coming for me. Okay, let me see, let me see. Yeah, I cannot, I don't want to kill him. I will kill first, I will kill Aomi. I don't want to kill that guy. Atomic, sorry buddy. 
You are history. Take a look at this, please. This Aljun is going after me. I didn't want to kill him. But he wants to kill me so bad that he doesn't want to go for Ao Ming. He wants to go for me. Oh my god, buddy. If I knew that, I would have really killed you first. I could have killed you so easy, buddy. And I went for Ao Ming. And then you went for me. <laughs> sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Very sneaky. <laughs> no, the match is over. The match is over. Let's see who's our friend, enemy number one. Enemy one. It was second. So, 17 takedowns, guys. With this one setup, which is really, really crazy cool. Let's see the damage. 4.3 million damage. <laughs> <laughs> nice, really nice. So shout out for this guy. He played nice. He really played nice. So with increased battle reward, we got 3.6, almost 3.7 million silver. Crazy with boosters and everything. So guys, I showed you these three setups, which are my favorites, and I explained you what, which B modes to use, which setup. I hope you like this video, and uh, if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing to my channel. And hit that notification bell so you get notified every time when I post a new video or when I go live and also when I have my giveaways and I have a lot of them guys. And also recently we started doing some video challenges with the support from Pixonic. I hope that that will uh, continue in the future. If something changes I will let you know guys. Thank you very much guys and see you in a new video. Bye bye.